Hey, Reptile Rescue family. I thought I would do this episode and explain why I, as well as many leopard gecko keepers, but really anything that particularly needs to have a humid hide, I don't like using sphagnum moss. Now, I know the allure of sphagnum moss. It looks normal uh, and natural. So if you have an enclosure that, you know, you put a natural looking cave for your leopard gecko, something that needs a humidity, you shove sphagnum moss in there, you water it, you know, you, you get in there, you mist it, you keep it moist, it's great. Why do I not like that? And why do most reptile keepers bring this up all the time? Okay, so yes, I use an empty Cool Whip container that I just dremel out, <laughs> little opening, works perfect, it's cheap and they love it, but it's safe and easy to clean. This is why I like this over a natural cave. And it's something, you know, you need to come with. But when you flip over a cool up container, this, you know, clips into the lid. But then you can, you can take it out of the lid. It's a little challenging with one hand. And they still can climb on top of this and lay. But so you can take this out and you can move the lid across. But it's so you can get to the paper towel. Now, keep in mind that this is just water and the leopard gecko goes on here. If this was a sphagnum moss floor, this would be the same, except would you see all of this on a sphagnum moss floor? Leopard geckos, they poop. Now they don't poop in here. Leopard geckos always will poop in the same spot in their enclosure that they make their bathroom. Super easy to potty train, super easy to keep clean. But look what happens when you have water and germs and, and everything. Bacteria, you know, just spreads different colors, you know, maybe she threw up, maybe she coughed up a little bit, a little runny poop, it, all of the above. She dragged a, a roach in there to eat one night, something like that. All this adds up. And when you naturally have brown and green sphagnum moss, would you see these colors? And then I asked the people who keep sphagnum moss, I clean this, well, I check them every day, normally every two weeks, it will get to something like this, and this comes out, wash the top, wash the bottom. Um, this is the top, this is the bottom in this case, because it's upside down. And this just gets thrown away. It's just, you know, a sheet of paper towel I folded in half. It, it just goes in the garbage. But when you have sphagnum moss, how do you know it's dirty? When do you clean it? This is, this is a lot of bacteria in here. You need to clean it. And you can't see it when you have sphagnum moss, unfortunately. So I thought I'd make this quick video as to why I do not like using sphagnum moss for humid hides. Take care, everyone. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.